Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Dogman. Let's get started on the right side of our page with the top edge of the muzzle. So I'm going to start at the front here, draw a straight line going across. Now at the end I just want to add a small circle for the nose. So starting at the end of the line, go around and then back in. I want to add a little highlight along the top edge. So on the left side, I'm going to curve up and then down. We're going to fill the bottom area in black. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. So we're going to draw almost like a half circle. Starting from this point, we're going to go up towards the top of the head. Now I'm just going to bring that back down on the left side. From here, we're going to continue this curve going down towards the chin and then back up towards the nose. So let's start on the left side, we're gonna curve down, now down towards the chin. Now right here we're gonna go across and we're gonna pull that up towards the bottom of the nose. Now let's draw in the mouth. So in line with the top of the muzzle, we're gonna go all the way towards the left side. Right here we're gonna draw a point. From this point we're gonna curve down and out towards the right, towards the front of the muzzle. Come down. Now we're just going to go straight across. Now right in this area, I want to add three little dots. So starting at the top, we'll add one spot. We're going to come down and towards the left, add another. And then we'll move over towards the right side and slightly up and draw in the third spot. Now the eyes are basically two curves. So we're going to start right in the center of the head. We're going to step down. Right here, we're going to curve out and then down towards the left. Let's go to the right side, stepping down slightly, curve out, and then down towards the right. Now we're gonna move up and draw in the hat. So on the left side of the top of the head, we we'll go up with an angle. Now let's go to the right side and go straight up. And we're gonna go a little bit higher than the line that we have on the left. We're gonna connect these two points with a curve, going up and then back down. Now on the right side of the hat, we're gonna draw a straight line going out towards the tip of the brim. Now I'm gonna taper this back in towards the hat so the space gets a little bit wider as we come in. Let's add the badge to the top of the hat. So from this line, we're gonna step down, start with a point. We're gonna angle down towards the left and then down towards the right. Now I just wanna angle back up on either side and then we're going to connect these two points with the curve coming down towards the bottom. Just want to stay just slightly above the top of the head and go back up. On the left side, we're going to add the two ears coming across. So let's start down here on the side of the head. We're going to curve up and then down. I'm going to round out the tip of the ear and then pull that back in towards the side of the head. We're going to leave a little bit of space. So stepping down, we're going to add the second ear. We're going to go a little bit longer this time, going out and then down, round out the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's add some whiskers along the bottom of the chin. Starting on the left side, we're just gonna angle down, going across that line. We're gonna add five of these going across. So leaving some space. Add the third, four, and then five. Now we're gonna draw the arms out on the hips. So on the left side of that whisker, we're gonna draw a straight angled line going out and down towards the left elbow. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing, going out and then down towards the right elbow. Going back to the left side, we're gonna curve the forearm coming down towards the first finger. So come down and we're just gonna curve that in. We're gonna add three fingers going up in an angle. So here we're just gonna round out the finger and go back up. We'll add the second finger. It's almost like a U shape going around. Now the third finger, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna pull this up over the top of the arm and then back out. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Curve down and in towards the finger. We're gonna round out the finger and go back out. Let's add the second finger. And then the third finger is gonna come out, curve the top of the forearm and back. From here, we want to tuck the body in behind the hand. So we're going to start at the top of this arm, 
We're gonna angle down and out towards the left. On this side, we're gonna step in slightly and angle down and out toward the right. Now these two lines are gonna continue underneath the hand. So we'll continue this line underneath the hand with a short line. We'll do the same thing on the right. So coming down with a short line, we'll connect those two points with a curve, coming down in the middle, and then back up. From the top of the arm here, we're gonna draw a straight angled line going in behind the body on both sides. Now I just wanna add a cuff to the sleeve. So stepping up on the hand, we're gonna draw an angled line coming down from top to bottom. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's add that same symbol in the center of the body here, but we're gonna make it a little bit larger. So right in the middle of the body, start with a point. We'll come down with an angled line on both sides. Now we're gonna go up and out on either side. And then again, we're gonna connect those two points with a curve, almost like drawing a circle. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the feet. So we're gonna leave a little space in the center down here. On the left side, we're gonna draw a point. From this point, I wanna curve the top of the foot, going up and out towards the left, and now we're gonna pull that down. I'm gonna round out the foot, come back in and round out the heel. Coming down, now we're gonna pull this across. Now once we get towards the heel, I'm just gonna round out the inside. I'm gonna take that and flip it over on the right. So we're gonna leave that space, stepping over, start with a point. Curve the top of the foot going out towards the right and then down. We're gonna round out the tip of the foot and we're gonna round out the bottom of the foot coming back in and just round out the heel. From the body, we wanna draw two straight lines coming down towards the inside of the heel. Starting on the left, we'll come down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right. So we got a little bit of an overlap on the heel. We're gonna move out and draw two angle lines coming inwards. From this point, we'll step in Angle down and in towards the top of the foot. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Dogman. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.